ETS, or EMG Triggered Stimulation, is a modality combining EMG and electrostimulation. In an ETS session, a patient is required to contract the monitored muscle in order to reach a set threshold in a given time. Achieving this activates an electrostimulation current to assist with completing the muscle activation. ETS sessions on the Myonics are accessible through the Myonics app. To run an ETS session using the Myonics app, first load the app and log in with your unique name and password. You may then select a patient from the patient list by clicking Select Patient on the top status bar. Selecting and switching between patients can be done at any time from the status bar. You may also run a session anonymously with no patient selected. If a patient is selected, all the settings previously used with this patient will load automatically and the session may be saved into their patient file once completed. Enter ETS mode by clicking the ETS button in the main menu. This will load the ETS preview screen. In this screen, you can view the quality of the signal, adjust the view settings, set the session parameters, and begin a session. The first view is a line graph consisting of time displayed on an x-axis and signal's amplitude scaled on one or two y-axis. You may switch between different view types by swiping left and right anywhere on the screen. The left scale represents channel A and the right one channel B. The signal for channel A appears in black and the signal for channel B appears in gold. To hide or show the scales and signals, you may click on the letters A or B below the y-axis scales on each side. Since this is the preview screen and timer has not been activated yet, the x-axis scale value remain hidden until the session is started. On the bottom of the screen, the live and set amplitudes of the electrostimulation current are displayed for each channel. Live amplitude is the current amplitude delivered to the patient at any given moment. Set amplitude represents the adjusted maximum amplitude for the session. Adjusting the amplitude is done on the Myonics device itself. Several other options are available to fit the view to the user's needs. By default, Y-axis are auto-scaled and both channels' scales are linked to each other. This means the scales will be zoomed in and out automatically to show the entire range of amplitude reached with the signal. To adjust the zoom manually, first, unselect Autoscale by clicking the Autoscale button on the bottom left of the screen. The button will turn from gold to gray. You may now zoom in and out by pinch to zoom or drag and dropping up and down on the scales themselves. Notice the threshold lines must remain in view. You will not be able to zoom in past them. You may also scale the two channels separately. First, unselect the Link Channels button on the bottom left of the screen. You can now zoom in and out on each channel individually. Scaling the x-axis is done by touching and holding anywhere on the x-axis line for two seconds and then releasing. This will bring up a slider to select the amount of time in seconds you would like to be displayed on the screen. Click OK to save and go back to preview screen. Clicking the MVC button on the bottom right part of the screen will continuously display the maximum voluntary contraction reached by the patient for each signal on the corresponding scale. Turning the MVC off and on again will remove previous achievements and start calculation again. Swipe left anywhere on the screen to switch to bar graph view. Before starting a biofeedback session, you may select an existing or saved protocol or adjust the session settings manually. Click the menu icon on the top left of the screen. Here you can select the type, duration and timings of sessions as well as select the waveform program for the electrical stimulation. 
You may also turn Auto Threshold on or off. ETS mode normally consists of three phases, Work, Stim and Rest. In Work phase, patient is instructed to reach threshold with the signal. Stim phase is when electrostimulation is administered, if and when threshold has been reached. Rest phase allows a given time to rest before starting the cycle again. The Myonix app allows two work phase types, finite and infinite. Click on it to select between them. With finite work phase, user adjusts the duration of each work phase. Patient must reach the threshold during this time in order to enter stim phase. At the end of this phase, if the threshold was not reached, rest phase will commence before restarting the cycle. With infinite work phase, patient is not limited in time. Electrostimulation, or stim phase, will activate whenever they reach the targeted threshold. The channel menu item allows users to select the channel to be used. The options are either channel individually, A or B, dual sync, or synchronized, meaning both thresholds would have to be reached at the same time in order to start stim phase on both channels. Or dual alternating, meaning a full cycle of work, stim, rest phase, will be completed on channel A before alternating to a complete cycle on channel B. In ETS mode, user can either set a duration for the session or a number of repetitions for the ETS cycle. In infinite mode, session durations can be entered on the top of the menu. Click and enter the number of minutes and seconds. Clicking anywhere on the screen will close the dialog box. This will adjust automatically as time will be rounded up to fit the work and rest timings if necessary. In finite work mode, edit the number of repetitions instead. Click the value and enter a new one. Sessions may be stopped at any time before the set duration. Click the values next to the timing options to adjust times for work phase, if operating in finite work phase, stimulation phase, and rest phase. Enter the number of seconds and then click anywhere on the screen to close the dialog box. Stimulation program includes the waveform settings for the electrostimulation phase. Clicking on it allows selection of program to use. You can edit or create new ETS programs by clicking the program button on the main menu. After adjusting all settings before starting a session, you will be prompt to adjust amplitude for each channel using the Myonix device. Thresholds provide a goal for the patient to reach with the signal. Threshold adjustment is done on the main view. Click on the desired threshold once. Two dots appear on the sides of the line to signify it is selected. You may now drag and drop to move the threshold to the wanted value. In most cases, this could be done while in session as well. The exception is with auto threshold turned on. Auto Threshold is available in the menu. Thresholds for ETS session are always on and always set to above condition, meaning patient needs to contract to reach above the threshold to activate the stim phase. Therefore, most threshold options are disabled. Auto Threshold is available and can be activated by checking the Auto checkbox next to the desired channel threshold. If enabled, the threshold will adjust each work phase to accommodate to patient's ability. Finally, you can save all the settings as a protocol for later use or load the previously saved one. Keep in mind, even if you do not save the protocol, as long as the patient is selected, the name settings will be remembered per this patient and loaded again next time you start a session with them. Before starting an ETS session, the user must adjust the stimulation amplitude level. For safety reasons, this is done on the Myonix device itself. On the device, click on the letters representing the channel you wish to adjust. You can select one or both at the same time. 
Then use the up or down arrows or use a circular swipe motion to increase or decrease the amplitude. Stimulation will be administered and felt by patient as you adjust the amplitude. And the level will be displayed on the Myonix device and in the app. When done adjusting, amplitudes will be saved as set values and live values will go back to zero. Only when all participating channels amplitudes have been set, the ETS session may be started. After all settings are adjusted, click the record button on the bottom of the screen to start a live session. In live view, you can see and follow the live signals, the session elapsed time or remaining time, clicking on the stopwatch or clock in the middle of the top of the screen will alternate between these, and the current phase along with the remaining time left on it. When session enters stim phase, a pop-up message appears. While in session, you may still switch between views, adjust view settings, scalings, and turn auto threshold on or off. In addition, you may add event markers to signify events that happened during the session. Click the Add Marker button on the bottom right of the screen. These can later be viewed and named in the review screen. You may also adjust the amplitude values while in session. This is done on the Myonix device. By selecting the channels to adjust and then using the up or down arrows or a circular swipe motion to increase or decrease the amplitude. Clicking the pause icon on the bottom of the screen will pause the session, allowing you to resume when desired. To stop the session and go to the review screen, click the stop button on the top of the screen. When a session is finished or stopped manually, the review screen will appear. If saved, this screen is also accessible from the patient file by clicking Review from the main menu and selecting the desired session. In this screen, you may view the entire session in a line graph view. The graph includes the signals A and B, A in black and B in gold, as well as the threshold values for each channel in dashed lines. If calculated, maximum voluntary contractions are displayed as dense dotted lines. Any event markers appear on the x-axis. You can click on these and name them if you wish. You can also move them around by drag and dropping and create new ones by first moving the red loca location line to the desired location and then clicking the Add Marker button. You may zoom in on the x-axis by touching and holding anywhere on the x-axis for two seconds and then releasing. Then, adjust the number of seconds to appear on the screen. To scroll, swipe left or right on the x-axis itself. Y-axis are auto-scaled to fit the signal value. To access the session statistics, click on the statistics icon that looks like an equation graph on the most bottom right part of the screen. Click again to hide. To save the session, click on the menu button on the top left of the screen and then select Save to Patient File. If a patient is selected, the session will be saved to their file. If no patient is selected, you will be asked to select one first. From here, you may also generate a report to be shared with the patient or referring body. Click Generate Report and then Generate Preview. The report will be displayed. Reports include the entire line graph view of the session, the current view of the graph in case you zoomed in, the patient's name, the date and time of the session, and all the session's settings and statistics. Once it is generated, you can save as a PDF file locally, print it, or share it using any application installed on the tablet.